everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, thanks for joining me today. Well, we're talking about Queen Cheryl and King Koran, I think his name is. If you didn't know, I did a video about Queen Cheryl a little while ago. She's a 62 year old woman who looks like she's about 187. They're trying to have a baby via surrogate and they're just big scammers is really what they are. And they have no business taking care of a child and we're gonna talk about it today. So let's talk about it. So Queen Cheryl and King Kwan. Now, <laughs> when I first discovered these people, I was like, there's no way this is real. And since then, we've discovered a little bit about them. Okay, I think, and I mean, this might not be all true because I don't think they've come out and say this, but basically I'm pretty sure they worked at a fast food restaurant together when he was 15. And now they're in a relationship and they are decades apart, okay? She is literally looks like she came out from a sarcophagus from Egypt. She's literally older than Pharaoh in the Bible, okay? I'm pretty sure she was there when Jesus was around, Moses. Like, she's the oldest person on earth is basically who she is. So she doesn't drink water, apparently. But anyway, her and King Quran, um, who, by the way, is in some deep doo-doo, are just disgusting grifters. So one of the grifts that they have is right now um, trying to have a baby for social media, which you guys know is like my biggest no-no, okay? And the only reason they want to do the, have this child is because it's provocative right now. It's not because they want to bring a child in this world. It's because they want to use this child for content and make money. And it's so evident, okay? So look at this content. This is how it starts. So when the pregnancy tests keep coming back, and I've got the music off because I don't want to copyright strike, but this says when the pregnancy test keeps coming back negative. Like they're not taking this seriously, right? Well, let me tell you a little bit about biology, okay? Look at this woman's face. Tyson, zoom in on that face, okay? This woman can't have babies because literally inside of her body is a black hole of sand. There is no eggs. There's no way this woman has not gone through menopause. Okay, and if she hasn't, that's a miracle. I'm sorry, menopause was 30 years ago for this lady. She can't have kids. These people, they, they create rage bait because it gets the money. They have four, over four million subscribers on TikTok. They make a lot of money on social media by being hated. There are lots of people that have chosen this avenue to be like hated people and they create hate bait or rage bait so that they can get engagement and make money. And they, they're cool with being the villains. They're cool with being the hated. They don't care. It doesn't bother them at all. They have thick skins and nothing bothers them. On the contrary, when people come at them and leave comments like, um, who's going to tell them? Or it's called reality. They love that. They thrive in it. They make money because of it. Them eggs evaporated by now. <laughs> Dog, it's literally not possible. <laughs> I never ran to the comments faster. You can adopt a baby. I No, they, I don't even think an adoption agency would even look at these people for a few reasons. One, she's going to die very soon. She should not buy green bananas. Her and Joe Biden have the same death date, pretty sure. I It will continue to be negative. <laughs> Someone says, can't say I'm surprised. That's a nice way of saying, you tried? So... Again, their whole relationship is rage bait. They're not in a loving relationship. This is just for social media. This guy, people think secretly is gay because he acts flamboyant. Also, hes they're doing this for money. There's just there's no way they're together, for real. There's just no way. But maybe there is a way because they have an OnlyFans. Yes, you heard that correct. OnlyFans. Okay? Wear a mask if you're going to watch it. I would never watch this. So that got a lot of people pissed off when they were like doing videos like that. And then they would do this. So they're doing it via surrogacy because obviously she can't have kids because again, her insides are powder, right? So, but they, they, they found a surrogate and then they keep doing videos like this and trigger warning, cringe alert, okay? Us because our surrogate is incarcerated now and our baby has a better chance in life. 
You can't make this up, people. This is the video that they made. This is similar to that woman who is in that mom talk coming up on that Hulu show, which I'm going to destroy and rip to shreds, um, who danced when her kid was like almost dying beside her and she's making a TikTok and she went viral for it. That's, that's on the same level, okay? These people found a surrogate, like surrogate from Timu, <laughs> okay? Um, probably paid to... It, it's a surrogate probably is just a pregnant girl. Unless he got her pregnant. I don't know how the whole story, I don't know if they've ever given the whole story out. Who the F hires a surrogate that is making just crappy choices while pregnant? Okay, did y'all pick as a surrogate? Like, I don't think that they, they, there's not a surrogate because she doesn't have any eggs, people. Again, you can't have eggs if you're a hundred. It They don't exist anymore. And here's a comment. The crazy thing is they're making money off of us when we make comments. Exactly. Y'all shouldn't have picked such crap surrogates to begin with. Makes me have to wonder how good of parents you'll be. They are not going to be good parents. Do you understand? They're not, it's not gonna happen. And here's another video they did. Hello. So we're back with another update and... We got pictures of our... Does this guy hit his shins off everything? See, that it's starting to develop now. So it looks like a baby now. Yeah. And it is so adorable. And the best part is, our baby's forming, it's healthy, it doesn't have Down syndrome. And the best part is, <laughs> the best part is our baby doesn't have Down syndrome. That's what he just said. That is what he just said. Find out the fraternity test, not fraternity. But the uh, gender next week. The yeah. fraternity twist. <laughs> These people are gonna try to be parents. Then we got our fraternity test back. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Like I'm ready. Like, just She's so. fixing to be in her second trimester. So She's fixing to. She's fixing to be in her second trimester. Is she. Oh my god. Risk and all that. So I will be seeing our surrogate soon. And another update we're having. Um, our first tour date is gonna be in Biloxi, Mississippi. Tour date. You tell me which one of y'all is gonna go see these people on tour. Who you fess up right now? A tour date for what? What are you gonna do? Dance? Is she gonna take you to the afterlife? She can talk to your long dead grandfather? What, what do you mean? The tour date. Is there a Ouija board involved? What are, what are you gonna do? Is there, are they in a band? July thirteenth. Yes. And we will be there. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, make it stop. So here's a video they did, and the audio, I warn you now, is crazy. It's like, are the June bugs out? Hello. So today is my birthday, and I did have an amazing celebration. Thanks to my Literally, she's old enough to be his grandmother. I'm not even joking. My wife, she was That's his wife. <laughs> face, she's like, she looks like that one from Moana and the tree, or is it, I don't know, like the tree, do you know what I'm talking about, the person in the tree? What cartoon is it? Is it Moana? I'm looking it up. It's the Pocahontas lady. <laughs> Sorry, it is. It's the Pocahontas lady. Oh, it's funny. Really great with her gifts, and it really was sentimental, made me feel special. So... Yeah, we gotta talk about it. The elephant in the room. So once again, and I'm not doubling back on anything I said, we didn't know there was an addiction. We didn't know anything. Oh, sorry, was, uh, we skipped a little bit here. So this is what I found. So apparently, when they said, you know, our baby has a chance at life, it's because that woman is in jail, and apparently the woman did fentanyl and everything else. Um, it's actually crazy. So they're talking about, we didn't know she was an addict. Are you sure? Yes, she is incarcerated right now. Um, it's not good that our baby is in a situation that's, you know, it is in, because, you know, we want to prepare for the circumstances that came with the surrogate we chose. We take accountability on that. Yeah. But... Again, how is it a surrogate? It's maybe his seed and someone else's egg? Okay. Now that we know she's incarcerated, at least we know our baby is clean and it will be taken care of. Yeah. It'd be tucking care of, eh? I don't know if you knew this, Karan. I don't even know because I've never been to jail. But you can get drugs in jail, right? It's you can do drugs in jail. There's drugs there too. So yeah, just I don't know if you knew that. Cool. But now this is what we're so happy our surrogate is in jail so she can be clean for our baby. 
this is what they uh, like take out the funniness of this for a second and how absurd it all is there's a baby in the mix coming somewhere and is going to land either with a woman who is in jail who has a fentanyl addiction or with these people with a lady who is literally going to die should have died a few years ago i don't know how she's being held together with chewing gum and hopes and dreams okay and this guy who is clearly something wrong with him in his head okay he craves nothing but fame Okay, he'll do anything for the fame, including be one of the most hated people on the internet. And he's actually broken the law a bunch of times, we're going to find out in a second here. So in the mix is a baby that's going to come out eventually, and is going to land in one of two very, very bad situations. And there are people who actually stand these people. There are people who are like, you're such a good mom and dad. There are, this is the scariest thing you've ever seen. Of all the family vloggers and people who exploit children, these people d should be 1,000 yards away from any child. This is crazy to me that, they're allowed, that you're allowed to do this. Uh, there's no worries about anything because there's no drugs around for her to get. How do you know? Are you telling me you can't get drugs in jail? Are you serious? I did discuss that and I did say that we were fighting something that I couldn't battle and that was it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was that deep. I didn't even think it was that drug. Yeah. But you know So your kid is gonna come out of this womb either fetal alcohol syndrome or have massive drug addiction or gonna be problematic. If she's doing fentanyl when you are pre <laughs> let me see what happens when you when you have a baby while on fentanyl. It's not good, basically. It's pretty bad, actually. So the fact that that is the drug, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, you know? <laughs> no, it's not going to give you a healthy baby. Oh, it's in the, they prayed about it. Never mind then. I had an amazing day. We know what's going on. Our baby's so alive and healthy. It's just... He doesn't have Down syndrome. Yeah. So I was we did get... Uh, a surrogate who's going through things we can't judge uh, I'll judge I will judge again I'm not really following super duper uber close with this but he keeps doing updates like this about this baby situation which is actually kind of crazy if you think about it and the, the blonde beard is something never trust a person with a blonde beard I'm tired at this point literally it seems like every day I have to go something with this this whole surrogacy journey <laughs> And that's why I'm like pissed, cause it's like this isn't the pretenses you came on with. And the fact that you're trying to keep my child from me, like Oh, so we're catching up, as we can hear from the sentence he just made, that the person is trying to keep their baby from them. Well, when you choose a criminal to have your baby, what do you expect? They're prob is the person probably trying to extort? I don't know. But I honestly don't believe that these people should be anywhere near a child. I'm not even joking. Like it's, they're trying to do it for content and it's actually scary. And you can't say you're not because you got an Amazon registry and you put baby stuff on there. Like we don't need help for- How do you get an Amazon registry while you're in jail? But you can't get drugs? Okay. When you get stuff for our daughter, you're not even naming her what we want to name her. You're trying to like, I don't know what you're trying to do and it's the weirdest thing, but the pretense you came on ain't the same thing you give into the world. The same stuff you tell into the internet is not all Factual, and I, I'm gonna state it. Like, here we go. Here we so go. This is part one of our serious journey. This is how it all started. This is the beginning to the end. So, this is part. He's got his blonde beard, so I'm falling on his shirt. I don't know how many parts it's gonna be, but you know, let's get into it because I didn't go looking for a surrogate. The surrogate reached out to us at this. <laughs> you didn't go looking for a surrogate. That's literally what a surrogate is. You find somebody that you basically rent their womb to have your child. That's what it is. You find somebody. A surrogate is hey, can I have a baby and you can have it? That's not surrogacy, that's adoption. Are you out of your damn mind? You mean I didn't go looking for a surrogate. What? What in our, our life, me and Cheryl was good. Sounds like someone targeted a bunch of dumbasses. Karan and Cheryl. That's what it sounds like. Targeted these people who have more money than sense because they make good money on social media and they're probably stupid as hell. They probably get taken advantage of every turn and every corner. Everybody's in their life who's trying to help them make content and everything. They've been ripped off. I guarantee you that because they are stupid. Okay? It sounds like like Dell Vlogs, if that was true, they found you online and they're like, I'm going to scam ass these people. That's what it sounds like. Tent with not having a baby. We were at the point where we we're gonna give up and say it's okay, you know. Should have gave up. 
We're done trying because we don't have five seconds. You can't try when there's clouds in there. At this point, well, she's number five, but you know, this is not looking for. Have you seen the movie Dune? It was filmed in her body. For a surrogate, I seen it on Snapchat. Look at this. Are y'all still looking for a surrogate? I seen it on Snapchat just now, and it was like I know them. <laughs> That's who you're gonna get to give baby free. I seen you needed a surrogate. Let's get it on. With Snapchat, crazy a lot of lies about me and Cheryl, but you know, just now, and I was, I want to know, blah blah blah. You all about the money. That's not how this works. So that's literally how this works. That's honestly how surrogacy works. And it's getting that way as they, as it becomes more popular. Women, like I know that some women can sell their eggs, just the eggs that they have for thousands, tens of thousands of dollars and 50,000, something upwards of that. Would you sell one of your eggs for $50,000? Would you? I asked my wife that question. She said, no. A lot of women would say no, because it's like one of your babies is out in the world. That's the reason why I would never sell my sperm because that would be one of my children out in the world, right? And that's not something I'm interested in. Now, would you surrogate for $100,000, $200,000? Because that's the path that a lot of people are going to be taking for rich people. Rich people are going to start hiring wombs at like to the tune of $100,000. Imagine nine months of your life, you get paid $100,000. Would you do it? A lot of them, a lot of them would, would. They have no problem with it. And that's where we're going. We're literally renting wombs. It's craziness. With me saying that, I was basically saying, Snapchat told everyone that we made $3 million. Me and Cheryl has never even made $3 million. We, met, we haven't even made close to $3 million. We haven't done none of that. They've made a lot of money, though. But yet, it was promoted that we made that. So therefore, people thought that. Okay. Anybody emailed in that time, asked them to be a surrogate, I cut off. Blankly, I, I wasn't trying to be rude, but I know exactly where they were coming from because they had to see that video. They genuinely cared. There's different ways of hitting us up, but the You don't have to pay me, I have insurance at all. I couldn't have a baby for the longest, but... You don't have to pay me, I have insurance. Hello, I couldn't have a baby for the longest, and it sucked. So then what, again, you're you already on to this woman at the beginning, knowing that she's all about the money, and you already called her out for it, and she's like, no, 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 and then you still went with it. You idiots, you're the one to blame here. You are the stupid idiots. I just figured because we already know each other, that mm, kind of, I wouldn't ask for any money. I'm sure just thought, Thought I'd reach out if you guys were still looking. Plus, I'm tall. That's a plus. Oh, I'm sorry. It sounded insistent. I didn't really know how to come about it. I was just watching the story on Snapchat. Thought I could help her out. I know how it feels. Then he says, that sounds really good. Of course, we would be there financially. It's just we never made three million and people assume all the time we do. It's a struggle with fertility. He said, I am someone who cares about what goes on in people's life. But fertility issues is something we struggle with because Cheryl's age. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yep that's something that we can help life happened but life did happen a long time ago for her it has come and gone then, eons at this point it's been eons today you hit me up on that knowledge and you stated you would do a free state all that stuff you but then you stated no 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 we'll take care of the payments we can pay that, that you stated that in the next sentence so f off hey, did you want to ask me for money you want to do none of that but yet here we are i was in september why is his nails so long this was in October. Do you have any idea? This is October, he said. Do you have any idea when you'd like to start the baby process? We want to start this process. October, I said, I will contact you on Monday with the info. Okay. October came by. We talked about what we had planned, what we had, the producers. Did he and all the producers? Did he impregnate his friend? Stuff we had things that were coming our way. So I reached out to her, and she was just like, I'm just now seeing this. It's okay, we're trying the upcoming months after New Year's in case you want a drink. We didn't know what she was going on. You know, if you want your own life, you want your own personal life, this is our fault once again. We didn't go to a, a surrogacy clinic. And yeah, you just chose a rando from your social media. Idiots! That's our own fault. I accept that. No. you. Sh I don't even think a surrogacy agency would take them on. They're like, you're the mom here, who's going to be the mom, sort of, is going to die. S soon. Okay, but then one fall down the stairs, that's over for Queen Cheryl. Hey, I was trying to be a little lenient. Hey, you know, if you drink. She can't, like, let's put it this way. She can't get life insurance. <laughs> like, no, no, we don't insure people who are 
no longer here. Whatever, get it out the way before you have the baby. That's what I was doing. But here we go. She said, I don't drink. And okay, whenever y'all are ready, I'm ready. I don't drink anymore. Anyways, left my eyes off. Hey, when's your next cycle? This is where she said around the 12th. I'm out, just so y'all know. I don't have my phone yet, but I just got released yesterday. So you knew this woman just got released from prison yesterday. And you're still using her as a surrogate. There was no way for us to know any of that. So except she just told you. What are you saying? So she what do you mean you, there's no way for us to know? Okay, well she told you I just got out yesterday and then you still used her as a surrogate. This guy you are dumb. I'm sorry. I'll explain this to you, Karam. You are a failure of a human being. You have no business being a father. You are stupid. She gets out. She comes over, you know, we talk. We had a few talks before we even decided to start inseminating. So, let's fast forward to the day we start. Well, Please don't say inseminating. So, we'll say that for part two. Yeah, say that for part two. Yes. Addicts still overcome their addictions. That's the thing. Everyone has addiction, whether it's social media, where it's drama, whether it's anything. Everyone has an addiction. But. Your addiction is blonde hair dye. Addicts do overcome. I'm not bashing your sobriety at all, but I feel like what you're doing, because you didn't have this with your first baby and you told me. So why don't you just tell her this? Why are you making a TikTok? You're talking to her on a TikTok. Think about this. These people want to be parents and you can't keep your business off TikTok. Are you out of your mind? This, I don't care. You said you didn't have all the love and support that you wanted. You're using my baby, using us to get what you want out of life. And you're surprised by this. That's really weird that you're surprised by this. And that's messed up because at the end of the day you hit us up on genuine shit and now you're trying to be candid and take with something that you didn't even want. I have the videos and the message. We're going to say that part two. You probably have no legally binding contract so it doesn't matter what you want or what she wants. She could change her mind at any time. It's called consent. If you don't have a legally binding contract, I don't think you can anyway, the surrogate. If a surrogate decides to keep a baby, can they do that? I don't even know. And eventually it's probably going to happen. Sometimes there's going to be lawsuits and everything between babies and people holding on to babies and holding them for, for ransom and everything. It's going to happen. Probably, if not, it's already happened a lot of times. So you probably are, because you guys are so stupid, you didn't go through an agency. Okay, you found someone straight off Snapchat who said they just got out of jail. And you're wondering why this person who done fentanyl and is like addiction, has addiction issues, who was back in jail is going to hold it from you for money? You're like, are you serious right now? And you want to be parents. Because it's going to keep going. Like, it's literally a cycle of abuse. Like, money, all that. Like, the money I spent, I even, like, that's the thing. I'll let y'all live with us for a month and all that. And <laughs> she lived with them. And that's the thing. We're going to save everything for part two. But the fact that you're using my baby for your sobriety, for your come up, for your everything, that's horrible. That's horrible. You, you know it's horrible that you're going to use this child for your come up, for your subscribers, and for your money on social media. That's horrible. You're going to exploit this child. So don't sit there and be a dumbass hypocrite sitting in your bathroom. You're doing the exact same thing, asshole. To change your life at any point in time, but you waited till four months later after you're already pregnant to try to do that. And then you're trying to ride the camel's back of our wave. Like, that's weird. Like, no. Yeah, don't ride the camel's back of our wave. I don't care about fame, clout, none of that shit. Yeah, you do. That's all you care about. I don't give a shit about shit. I live my life on front street. I don't give a shit about shit. Street. I live my life on front street. I don't care shit about shit. None of that makes any sense to anybody. You care shit about shit, or you wouldn't be making a six and a half minute video about it. Really out here selling lies just to get sympathy for your baby and that's the thing you weren't able to do this for your first child but you're trying to do it for my child we can do everything we possibly can for that baby we can do that more we took care of you you cannot do anything for this baby you're a money hungry fame hungry clout mongering douchebag and your wife is literally dead an ancient person who's not going to be around long enough to raise this child and you think you can do things for this child you can't even hire a proper surrogate agency to do something you have no business being around a child so no, no, you can't. When you didn't have a place to go, like that's the worst part. Like you trying to take a part of me that I, I would never sleep with you a day in my life. I would never give you the time of day with me. I would never done any of that. But yet you're trying. These nails are beautiful. Take a part of me that takes two. You're not the second one that I would even give a child. Only reason I gave you a child because you said you would carry it for us, and now you're trying to take the baby from us. That's shitty. You're shitty too. You're both shitty. 
That shit ain't a thing about it. You didn't get clean until you was with my baby. That's the thing you seen. Oh, I got a chance of life. I got a second chance. After I done so much fucked up shit in my life, I can fuck them over again and fuck the world over and fuck them over and fuck. Like, that's all you want to do is fuck people over. But all I did was give to you. I gave to you. I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to battle everything. You're an idiot. You're a terrible judge of character and you should. You have no business being around kids. That's it, man. You, if you're this bad at ju the judge of being a judge of character, then clearly you have, again, you shouldn't be around kids. All you're going to do is exploit this child. Probably going to take it on tour and let it meet strangers. You asked for money, I gave it. When you needed food and you were starving and begging me for food, I brought it to you. Even though I didn't... Spit on his shirt there. That's gross. There's too much spit going on. It had to, but I'm the one who's going to suffer. I'm the one who's going to have... Finna. Go through his battle. And that's I'm finna shut this shit off. Say finna again. Dang, this is the whole point of all this. I don't want to make you like shit. What I want to do is shed light to the situation and how we got here because you keep false interpretations. I, you keep false interpretations. I'm pissed. I am hurt. I am angry. And that's all because of what you're doing to us. You're causing turmoil in my marriage. Oh my gosh. These people. Anyway, it's a huge drama fest. Okay, the person is going to obviously hold them for ransom and whatever. I mean, you're an idiot. You're an idiot, basically. But I was on I was on Reddit. And I was just like typed in their name because they don't have a snark thread. But someone says this, and this is quite a funny uh, thread. Why does everyone hate Queen Cheryl? Can someone explain the hate around these TikTokers, please? As far as I've seen, they seem to be a pretty healthy relationship <laughs> and totally legal given the age. If you have to say it's a healthy relationship and totally legal, if you had to add that into the conversation, okay, and totally legal, okay. Did something happen before? I tried to look it up and nothing came up, so it's just uh, hate, pettiness, or did they really do something? Uh, most people hate the relationship because of the age difference, that's... maybe. And some people think the man is in danger. That's not true. And they do OnlyFans, someone said. Dude, just tell me her real age. She ain't no 62. I don't want to dox the lady, but can any of her kids or 18 grandkids confirm the year she was born? Sadly, no man living today knows her age. I guess it got lost in history. My estimate is the last ice age. Apparently, he's a scammer. Karan runs insurance scams with car accidents and has multiple felony assault charges as well. And this guy's going to bring a kid into this world. I believe she knew him since he was a kid, so it's grooming. Um, she was she was on Maury saying that her son's girlfriend's baby... Wait, she, this is a Maury thing. She was on Maury saying that her son's girlfriend's baby wasn't his and it was a guatemalan man's baby she was being so racist ended up being his baby in real life uh might have been steve wilkos or maury i can't remember so she's been on maury that's crazy she's old enough to be on maury and was an adult on maury that's how old she is i was told she knew him since she was 15 that's what i found so anyway i just did then i googled him and i said uh you know quran insurance and this is from NI National Insurance Crime Bureau. 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 Uh, police. Rome man intentionally caused wrecks over a four-year period to defraud insurers. Now, this is Rome, Georgia. A Rome man was arrested on accusation that he intentionally caused several wrecks over the past four years in order to collect insurance benefits. According to Floyd County Jail Records, Karan Shahid McCain, 24, is facing several counts of felony insurance. This was three years ago, so he's 27 now, um, and making false statements to law enforcement as well as aggravated assault. He's accused of striking vehicles or causing vehicles to strike him and then filing false injury claims against the driver's insurance. The first one occurred in September 19, 2017 at the intersection of North Elm Street and Shorter Avenue. While driving a 2007 Mercury Mountaineer, McCain caused a wreck with a 2004 Toyota Sienna. He accused the other driver of an improper lane change and claimed to be injured. He was transported to Redmond Regional Medical Center for treatment. About a month later, on October 25th, he sought treatment at Floyd Medical Center and claimed the wreck occurred on October 24th. And that was... doesn't say the date. Oh, September 29th. Okay. McCain is charged with three counts of felony aggravated assault, eight counts of insurance fraud, two counts of false statements and writings, first degree criminal damage to property, two second degree criminal damage to property, three misdemeanor counts of reckless conduct, and two counts of false report of a crime. The charges stem from a number of innocents over a four year term. On June 29th, 2018, McCain struck a 2015 GMC Terrain with his 2003 Infiniti G35. McCain then gave false statements to law enforcement as well as an investigating insurance carrier to obtain benefits from the insurance policies. McCain also claimed injuries and sought treatment at Floyd Medical Center. Now, just get a damn job, you damn grifting, cheating asshole. 
While speaking to a Geico insurance agent about the incident, McCain's friend, DeBron Ricardo Woodward, claimed to be a witness and denied knowing McCain twice during the phone interview. Over a year later, on July 29th, McCain was a passenger in a BMW driven by Woodward. While driving along Shorter Avenue near Curtin Street, he keeps to be on Shorter Avenue, he keeps doing this, he applied the brakes hard enough to cause a 2013 Toyota Center to strike the BMW from behind. Woodard and McCain then made false statements to police insurance carriers to collect the benefits. The two also claimed to have injuries from the wreck and in reporting the insurance carriers, but told officers they had no injuries. No injuries. Woodard is charged with two counts of felony insurance. Like this guy, look at this record. Insanity. And this guy's on, he's a famous on TikTok. People don't care. Are the rumors that Karan McCain and his wife Cheryl were arrested true? Influencers in general and TikTok users more specifically often present certain image to fans and may not be a full picture of there as a person. Sometimes people hide personal information in order to be separate from the private public. But other times they hide that information because it's embarrassing or relevant. Following a week-long absence from TikTok, some are wondering whether TikTok user King Kron, whose real name is Karan McCain, has something to hide. Was Kron, King Kron arrested? Recently, a rumor began circling that Kron had been arrested for fraud, which would explain why he wasn't on TikTok for experience turn. As it turns out, that rumor is true. According to reporting on the Rome a paper located in northern Georgia, Karan was arrested for insurance fraud and accused of intentionally causing several wrecks. So could have killed somebody, by the way, in order to collect insurance fraud benefits because he doesn't want to get a damn job. And what's his next grift? TikTok with a 400-year-old lady. Hate bait. The accusation suggests that Karan repeatedly struck other cars or caused vehicles to strike him. Karan is currently charged with three counts of felony aggravated assault. Kron had previously gone viral on TikTok. The pile of accusations against Kron explains why he has been absent from his popular TikTok channel for the last week. He recently posted a pair of new videos, but before those were posted, his last videos were from November 14th. TikTok store has more 800,000 followers at the time of this. Now he's got like 3 million. Look at the people that we're making famous. Okay? These people have no business being famous. Then they did this, which is another grift, everybody. And here's another grift. So because they want to come across as good people or something like that, or I don't know, they keep grifting. Look at the cowboy boots in this guy, first of all. This is, okay. Anyway, so this is the next grift that they tried to do. Hello. Hello. We're at the women's shelter that we got. That we got? You just got it? Did you? You got it? That's in Averifield, Georgia. We are in the process of restoring it and bringing it back to life. That's a lie. So we can bring something back to the community. This is something we're very passionate about. So we're going to take y'all and get y'all. We're finna. We're finna. Into what we have planned. She's like, she's like, what are we doing? I don't even know. Where am I? Joe Biden. Owning. Hey, guys. This is the future sore house. Sore. The sore house will like sores, like mouth sores. Be a woman and children's shelter located in Adairsville, Georgia. This is a twenty-two thousand square foot facility. This facility. Facility. This facility will include forty well lit rooms, a free daycare, state of the art uh, cafeteria. Classrooms for GED, prep, trade school, classes, and... <laughs> now, after listening to them talk and who they are in real life, does anyone believe that this, like, I, uh, good intentions are good. If your heart is there, okay, you know, it's cool. Maybe someday it'll be... Like, this sounds like... I know who this sounds like, and these are people like I just do. You, everybody has these types of people in their life, right? They have, they've never done anything in their entire lives. They've been grifting, or they've been welfare. They've done nothing, ever. But they're always like, you know, this is my dream to start a, you know, a, a business that helps. No. they You know, it's just... Ugh. It bothers me because it's just a giant grift and they're just uh, making money on this grift. And other business classes. We will also have a wing dedication. Looking at this, it looks like it needs a million dollars just to fix it up. To detox, rehab, and therapy. Some other amenities at the sore house will include. The house is sore. Bible study. Bible study. Horseback riding. Swim. Where are you going to put horses? Mean. An exercise room, free clothing, and free hygiene products. As you all can see, we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> One of those things you have to do is purchase it. All donations are accepted. Oh, so they're looking for donations. That makes sense. And appreciated. Even if it's just... The pool has trees in it. It's a dollar. We're also accepting any used... 
women's clothes and children's clothes. They this place. Oh, okay, they have a horse barn. Okay, this looks like it's a very expensive property, and they like it needs hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars to bring it to code. You can't just open a shelter, right? It still needs to be to code. You can be sued if you don't do things properly. Okay, people who run nonprofits and stuff like that, and like they are like it's a thankless job. Don't get me wrong, but they like have to live by codes and they have to do things properly, or they can be sued. These clothes. Kid goes in that swing set. They're getting tetanus. Or all other baby products, toiletries. So they're asking for donations and they have nothing open yet. No, there's not even, and there's a hope and a dream and they're asking for donations. What do you get? Like, what? That's what I'm saying. These people have nothing together. They are not together. Oh, she got a new bed. See, she got her, got her a bed. Anyway, these people are crazy. Hygiene products, furniture, building material. And volunteers. There's horses there, though. We definitely... And volunteers. definitely need volunteers. If you're interested in volunteering, need community service, please go to our website. I don't know if you should have people around recovering women and play shelter from, like, dangerous people if you are literally on parole. You know, I don't... I just... I don't think you're allowed to do that. Oh, my gosh. You can't make this up, folks. You cannot make it up, and they are making it up. Here's the other follow-up. The Women and Children's Shelter. We are um, doing this raffle to get funds to get this up and running again. We want to... Should you be out in the sun? Support the community. Yes. So we're going to take y'all inside. You're wondering how raisins are made. Y'all get to see a little. Hey, guys. This is the future Sore House. The Sore House will be a Women and Children's Shelter Located in Adairsville, Georgia. This place should be torn down. This is a 22,000 square foot facility. This facility will include 40 well lit rooms. At they just repeated it. Okay, this looks like it's haunted, man. You're gonna put people in this haunted house? What is this footage? Okay. What the hell? Anyway, so apparently, if you, if you follow this a little bit, the owner said, we are not selling this. These people are not buying this. That is a lie. And, like, they got called out for it, obviously. Hello. Hello. So today is my birthday, and I did have an amazing celebration thanks to my wife. She was really great with her gifts. And then, really, really then they did this. Hello. 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 So we did not purchase that property. <laughs> uh, but you said you did. You said we got this property. You got it. And no I'm gonna go as her for Halloween, by the way. There was a lot of things going wrong with the property. There was a lady <laughs> Do you think? there who harassed us completely on the internet that is homeless, that lives there in a barn. And she harassed us because we said- She harassed us. She would have to get rid of her horses because they're malnourished. That's not something you can have on uh, any- They always leave out a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> There's this old lady living in the barn who said the horses are malnourished. Okay, like, you know, context? Can we have a little context here? What are you saying? Type of, you you can't do that. And she got mad that we told her that. So this lady named Charlie, because she put herself out there. I don't care. You really are trying to violate us because we have a better vision and dream to help others. <laughs> this lady shaking her head. Look, her head's gonna fall off. Yeah, I'm expecting her head to fall off, her eyeball to fall out, or something. Regardless, if we don't use that center or not, we found another place, and that's why I was saying. Oh, did you? I'm sure you did. And you tried to block our blessing, but just because we don't use that. How is it your blessing? Building doesn't mean the vision ain't there. We're still going to do this home with women and children's shelter, and the best part about this. This guy has no business being in a women's shelter, by the way. I'm doing it. No men allowed to be there. You ever seen a women's shelter? Like, I've, I've had to be around them for certain reasons, okay? Especially as a kid, but, like, even as an adult. You ain't allowed in there if you're a dude. Not even allowed near there. You're supposed to know where they are, actually. My own hometown. It's not going to be in another town first. And this is not going to be the only store house because we're open in many different states. Are you? Are you really? Thing. We never said we own the store house. Yes, you did. You said we got it. We got this. This is what you said in the video. She did anyway. I know her brain doesn't work, but she said it. We teamed up with sore kids to advocate for sore house because that's not what you said in the video why didn't you say that to start the video then because of the things we're going these guys are liars 
going through with our surrogate and the things we have been going through, it has been emotionally draining. So therefore, we... She's been drained of all liquid, so I believe you. Don't want no one else to do with what we're going through. When she goes for an autopsy... <laughs> Today. <laughs> they're not getting, <laughs> they're not gonna need to cremate her <laughs> tap her with a hammer <laughs> a homeless person a person that's oh. like addiction a person anything we want you to get help so therefore that's why we're giving back to the community no you're not it offends me because y'all, oh, there's so many people down. Oh, this fate, this ain't whatever. I don't care what y'all think. God's going to make a way and we're still going to... God will make a way. I'll believe you on that one, King Karan. But he's not going to use you guys, okay? <laughs> some point, God's like, look, I got some other people I'm working with right now. Let's just put it on ice. Yeah? Okay. I'll see you in heaven soon. <laughs> Deliver. There is no reason for us to doubt us because, yes, it's a process, but we never signed a contract with them. Well, then why did you say you got the house? We had checked out the place. We wanted to renovate one, but the place had debt. The man wanted us to pay his his loans and debts off and all this stuff. It came with a lot of hassle. So what we've been doing all week is working, finding a building. We've been, we've been going places, looking for sponsors. We've been doing a lot behind the scenes. And y'all don't know that because we haven't given y'all updates because we've been so busy. <laughs> I'm sorry. But since oh y'all doing so badly, we're here. We're still going to do the sore house. We're going to advocate for it because that's something. We okay, you can advocate for anything you want. Just say that. We're advocating for the sore house. Say that. Don't say like, we got this and we're turning it into the sore house for women. Don't lie to people. Don't grift for and ask for donations in a video. Between them, they have like 7 million followers. So you think they got donations? They got at least a few. Between 7 million followers, they got a few donations. Where's all that? Where'd it go? People send you diapers? People volunteer? Where'd all that go? Right? They are grifters. They are lying. That's fraud. This guy's literally guilty of fraud already. And you think this is not fraud? You feel passionate about. Yes. That's something we just found another way. We love. And I felt like it's something I'm doing to change other people's lives. Like, I love giving back. And Do you? What about to insurance companies? That's the best way we can. So at the end of the day, we you're about to give her back to the earth. That's for sure. Ashes to ashes. <laughs> dust to dust. <laughs> we don't care what none of y'all have to Woo! say. We're still doing this. We're not advocating for it. We feel you're not doing it. It's not going to happen. Passion enough to help other people out. No, you're Passion doesn't get you anywhere. Doesn't pay the bills. Like all these people got these platforms and so quit to judge and bash us. But what have you done on your platform? What have you done to give back to? Community? Well, I haven't done insurance fraud. I ripped off people. I haven't done that. I haven't lied and grifted and asked for donations in a place that this we said we got. When what you have you done with your money? Now what have you done? You haven't done anything either, dude. You've been lying the whole time. What have you gave? You haven't gave anything. Either, dude. You can't sit here and judge people when you haven't done anything. You literally hired a surrogate that lived with you that's in jail that does fentanyl and then said you got a house and you're turning into a, a sore house. You haven't done any of that either. So you can't just be like, what have you done? Well, I guess nothing like you. But you're quick to judge us and doubt us and all this stuff. This again, this is these types of people in their brain. They actually think that they've done something because they have intentions to do something or they love to help out people. I'm such a good person. We're such good people. You haven't done anything. You have failed every step of the way all the time because you can't do anything. You're a literal criminal, dude. They honestly, in their head, they believe that they're good people because they want to do this. It's never going to happen, but because that doesn't matter. That's semantics. It's okay. God got us. We're covered in the blood. It's Covered in something. Blonde hair dye. So it don't matter what y'all got to say. We're still going to keep doing this sort of house. It does matter what we got to say. Because you're sitting here doing a video about it. And we're going to keep advocating. Because we're passionate about it. Cool. It's the thought that counts, I guess. Thanks for the update, I guess. Anyway. So King Karan and Queen Cheryl. There you go. That's the update. I wanted to, I've been following it a little bit just to see what's going on with them. I cannot believe these people have millions of followers. That's it's 
absolutely mind blowing that people follow these people to the tune of millions, but they're not following to support. Now some are right. Cause in that general, there's going to find it because famous people are famous, for whatever reason, right? They are literally hate followed. Their entire content is absorbed by people who hate them. That is not sustainable, everybody. It can't be. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. So, But good luck with your whorehouse or whatever you're making there. Cool. Everybody, take a deep breath. <sighs> These people are idiots, but you're not. You're some kind of something. Thanks for watching these videos and having some fun with me. Tell me your funniest old joke about Queen Charlotte <laughs> in the comments. I gotta hear it. She's so old that, and then let me hear it. I wanna hear it. Best one wins a t-shirt. You guys are amazing, incredible value. Don't forget it. I will see you when I see you.